Well, for one thing, it's much more than a trade deal. It is an opportunity for the United States and Europe to align themselves more closely and to revive the transatlantic relationship. Also, it's an opportunity for the United States and Europe that together account for 50% of world gross domestic product to set the rules, as it were, for international trade for a very long time to come while they are still in a position to do so. And thirdly, it is, of course, a very big trade deal which will boost the prosperity of the two sides of the Atlantic, which will generate further trade and which will be very helpful to the rest of the world as well because of the new markets it will open up for them. Well, I think at the moment the biggest hurdle is that it has rather lost momentum. Uh, that in the United States it's rather overshadowed by the arguments in the build-up to the midterm elections and in Europe you've got the European Parliament elections and the European Commission reaching the end of its life so that uh, at the present time there's a loss of, of momentum. I think too that there's not been enough effort on the part of governments and I mean governments rather than the European Commission to sell this to their electorates. I don't think that a lot of people in the, in the parts of public opinion, both here and on the other side of the Atlantic, understand the great potential uh, that there is. And it seems like something which is just for big business and uh, just very highfalutin figures and not something which would affect the cost of goods in the shops and the choice of goods in the shops and the opportunities that small and medium-sized businesses uh, stand to gain. Well, I think that there's a very important window of opportunity after the US midterm elections, after the European Parliament elections, after the new European Commission comes in. There's then a two-year window between those events and the US presidential election. And I think that if the bones of the agreement aren't reached in that window, it will be very difficult indeed for the negotiations to reach a successful conclusion. It isn't that you fall off a cliff, it is that once negotiations of this sort drag on for too long, they sort of go into the, go into the sand. So those two years are going to be very important. I think it's also important to understand that we're not just talking about an event. We're not talking about something which happens and then it's finished. We're talking about an agreement which will have certainly within it understandings and agreements about specific things, but will also be the start of a process whereby objectives will be set over a period of years, a framework will be there in which the negotiations will take place. In that sense, it's somewhat analogous to the creation of the European single market. It's a rolling program. It starts with a set of agreements and there are then agreements reached according to timetables and within a framework over a period of years. Well, a very important message is the cost of failure. This is a, a deal which has huge potential benefits. But if the opportunity is lost now, it won't return uh, perhaps for a generation, and by then the whole structure of uh, wor the world economy will be very different from what it is now. So we want people to understand that if this opportunity is not grabbed now, um, it will be something which will have disappeared for some time to come. We want the government to be much more active in seeking to generate support from our uh, allies in Europe uh, and also to generate support amongst public opinion in this country. We, wanted to, we want to draw attention to the fact that this is not just a matter for big companies and big business. It's not just a matter of rather large abstract figures about what will happen uh, to the rate of growth of the economy. It's something which can really benefit the consumer by 
lowering prices in the shops, or at any rate, ensuring the prices are not as high as they would otherwise have been, by widening choice. We also want to get across the fact that this is not just a matter of tariffs. This is also a matter of the numerous non-tariff barriers to trade, which if they were removed would be of great benefit to the small and medium-sized businesses that at present sometimes wonder what it's all about.